I want to look like a Dominican David Beckham. <laughs> I was serious. Style is constantly changing and constantly evolving, but one thing that is always in style for guys is a well-fitted suit. At any age, a well-fitted suit is an essential style piece for any man's wardrobe. So today, we're going to learn how to buy a suit. The one thing about buying a suit is that it can be kind of intimidating. It's a, it's a big purchase for most guys. I'm usually like dress pants, shirt, tie. I usually just go to the store, try them out, and just walk out with them. To help us out, I brought in my friend Kevin from Combatant Gentlemen to give us some advice and teach us how to buy a suit. Thanks for coming. Yeah, my pleasure, Josh. So tell me a little bit about the company and what you guys do. Now we started online, combatgent.com. We help guys look their best when it counts. Crucial. Well, how do you guys simplify the process? First. We have an algorithm we use online to figure out your size. We'll give you a size recommendation. It's off of your height, your weight, your neck, and your waist. An algorithm, algorithm. to fit your suit. Science! There's a couple things to keep in mind. First, it's got to fit you well right off the rack. You got to start with the right fitting suit. The second thing is think about the occasion that you're shopping for so that you can get the suit that's right for that event in your life. Also think about what you might already have so you can kind of build a wardrobe. Let's look at a couple different colors, navy, and a charcoal, you know, darker gray. Those are great foundational suits that every guy needs in his closet. But you're gonna wanna look at the fabrics. You should look for 100% wool. Look for something that's got canvassing in it. Our suits have that. It's not the lining. Yeah. And it's not the outside. It's the inside of the suit. And it's what holds everything together. It's the foundation it's of the, the suit. It's the foundation of the suit, okay. yeah. So now, Kevin, we're gonna show these guys three different body types, and we're gonna show them how to get a suit that fits well for each different body type. We'll show you the ropes. My torso's kind of long, so with the shirt and the jacket, the sleeves always just feel like extra flowy. I have a weird shape, and I got a Dominican culo, you know what I mean? I'm a small guy, and I got a big old butt, so it's hard. <laughs> we gotta think about us. My main issue, because I have broad shoulders and a bigger chest, but a small waist, and I have big thighs, but I don't really have a butt, so for me, finding anything that fits perfectly for my body never, ever happens. Kevin, now we have our suits. Now what's the next step that we're gonna take? Well, the way to think about a suit is if you're buying something that's ready to wear, it's about 75% of the way there. So that's where we're bringing in Ivan. He's our alterations expert. He's gonna give you a little nip and tuck in different spots, and it'll be different for every guy, mm -hmm. but it'll make that suit fit perfectly for you. First thing you always check out on a suit, mm -hmm. you gotta start top to bottom. Your suit fits really, really well right now, because mm -hmm. I'm seeing two things that are perfect. The shoulders, mm -hmm. right now it's flat here and your arms are coming out naturally, so it fits really well here. Smooth on the back, smooth mm -hmm. on the lapels in the front. That's great because you can't really fix this. This isn't an alteration that you can change. You need a different suit if this doesn't fit. Second, you want to check the length of the overall jacket. And that's perfect. It's hitting right here in the middle of your palm. That means that the jacket length is perfect. So that means you got the right size, but that doesn't mean that we're done. There's a few things that I do want to change to the suit. And this is what Ivan will jump in on. Yeah, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll tip it down the waist for you to give you a better silhouette. So you start broad chest, come in at the waist, and then back out, and that's that slim fit look. Second thing, we're gonna shorten the sleeves and show you a little bit of a, a little bit of shirt cuff. Rule of thumb for the length of a suit jacket is it's based on the shirt. Mm -hmm. The shirt should go right where your wrist crease will start, and then you're gonna wanna show about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of shirt cuff. It's gonna pin you up right now, and uh -huh. what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you exactly what this is going to look like once the suit becomes altered. This is what you wanna ask your tailor to do. If you say, I want slim, make him show you what slim means. When you're going to get fitted for a suit, make sure to bring in a pair of dress shoes, shoes that you would wear with that suit. Most suit pants come on hems, and if you wanna get the, the perfect hem length, you wanna be wearing those shoes when the tailor is pinning it. There's three different lengths for pants. What we gave you is a half break. Well, let's check it out. Let's see how it looks. Oh, hey. Oh, what? And you know, I'm not an arrogant person, but I look good. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. I feel like I just like won an award. Everything is lined up. I feel I'm fitted right now, like straight up. Look how the sleeves are perfect, right? You're showing just a quarter inch of cuff on both sides. We shortened them to make it just right for you. We also brought the sides in, give you that 
David Beckham Slim right here. If you got the three piece right now, which is money for a wedding, you can take the jacket off, hit the dance floor, and still look polished. Can I dance bachata on this? I'm a bachata dance. You shorten the sleeves a little bit just to make it right yeah. for your cuff to pop. And then we gave you no break on the pants. That's why yeah, you can the pull no break off. Is, the no break is exactly it's stylish, what I want. right? Exactly what I want. You can take a black suit and you can kick it up a notch. And my favorite here, give you a little splash of color on the pocket square. A little pow. It makes the fro pop too. I yeah. really like it with the hair. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a whole like ensemble thing now. It's a tailored fit. Okay. We've got a little bit wider lapels because that's a proportional thing, right? It's, it's, it's gonna be broad because your shoulders are broad. Mm. And that's great. It's all about proportions when you're talking about a suit. The second thing is, this is a bird's eye pattern. So it has a little bit of texture to it. Super versatile. In terms of styling today, we put you with pattern shirt. It's a really small micro check. And then we kept the, the tie simple. So you don't want to have too much going on, like two really intense patterns. Yeah. It's a, it's a detailed pattern and a simple pattern. And we top it off with a nice little pocket square. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah Thank you, man. Appreciate it. got the suit, the question is how else can you wear it? How can you make it casual? With Tristan, we threw a casual t-shirt and some really bright sneakers. Still be fun, polished. Gariel, he's layering this bad boy with a turtleneck. Not everyone can pull that off, Gariel can. You want to look good, but bring it down just a notch. And then Josh, he's got jeans and a t-shirt. He puts on his blazer and that's just the jacket of his suit. It's kind of like a smart casual. The office, to the lot, anywhere the day takes them. We've all had suits before, but I haven't had a suit that fits like this. This is the first time a suit freaking fits from, to the teeth. It feels sexy. Perfectly. It fits sexy. Perfect. It, it, yeah. it fits sexy, it fits exactly. Sexy. Yeah. You look Yo, good, fellas. Yeah, right? you do. We you do, do look good. good. Like, you, you look, look good. good. No, you look, look great. great. No, you look Thank good. You. I like that. Yeah. None of us look as good as God. Like. You won't look like Dominican <laughs> James Bond at all. <laughs> Dominican David Beckham, what else? Yeah, is Dominican it? James Style. Bond, Dominican James David Beckham, Style. Dominican Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Where are we going? Yeah. Dominican that's Barack. It, that's it. We're done. It's too much, too Dominican much, too much. Barack Obama. <laughs> Dominican everybody. Oh uh, yeah, good. You, they they left. Now it's me. Good. Oh, uh, Dominican Slayer, Vampire Slayer. That shit don't make no sense. <laughs>